well, Lemonade is well, a short documentary, and uh, we've done this to do two things, basically, to shine a light on the problem um, that, you know, a lot of adults with autism around the world, I think not just in UAE, but around the world, are becoming sort of a lost generation, you know, in terms of services. Services are not very evenly distributed. They're mostly just for the younger ones. I mean, there's a lot of buzz about early intervention now and catching it early, which is great. And I'm extremely happy to see that now, much more awareness being out there for the younger ones because autism is climbing off the charts at an astronomical rate, spreading faster than cancer and AIDS combined. So I'm delighted to know that there's a lot more being done to catch it early and to really start the therapy and start treatments as early as possible because that does improve prognosis. But just because somebody grows to a certain age doesn't mean that they don't need help anymore. Um, Ibrahim, uh, like so many others, was asked to leave his special needs school at a certain age and then we were left wondering, well, what do we do now? You know, and Why was he asked to leave? Well, he was 19 and they needed to make a space for the younger, a younger child, you know, a younger student. So they don't have cottage classes for autism? Not really, no, right. And there wasn't really much in terms of vocational training, you know, to get them ready for any sort of job. So we really were left just holding the bag and, you know, shrugging our shoulders, wondering... What are well, voluntary positions for... Children with special needs and any voluntary positions to work night to night, a few hours every day, or once a week. Well, not not really, not not at the moment. They really don't have anything like that there. Um, but we're working on that. Um, Abraham, one thing that we want to do in the very near future is get Abraham volunteering at the dog and uh, cat shelter in that Sharjah. Would, that would be really give a really sense good of, for him. Sense of belonging, a sense of being accomplishment. useful, accomplishment, exactly. And um, for the moment, you know, the homeschooling, makeshift homeschooling situation we've created for him at home does kind of sort of do that. I mean, he shops for the groceries every week, as we saw in the film, and that makes him very happy. Responsibility. Yes, he has the responsibility. He helps with the household, the running of the household. Homemaker. Yeah, and he, uh, yeah, he takes out the trash, he washes his own dishes, he cleans up his area whenever he's working, so he does sort of, he's getting that in, in his mind, you know, that he does need to partake. And animals are therapeutic. Does he like animals? He does, he does. But we will have to take the great care about that because he doesn't know his own strength sometimes. So I'm sure his carers, the two guys, you know, that were shown on the movie, will have to take great care not to let him hold an animal too tight or, you know, um, do or do something you know, with their tail, you know. I mean, he might think that's just like a toy, you know, <laughs> otherwise because Ibrahim is a very strong guy, mm -hmm. as most autistic people are, mm -hmm. um, sort of phenomenally strong, actually. Or athletics, does he enjoy He athletics? loves athletics, he swimming. loves swimming, mm -hmm. he yeah. loves basketball, right, so I think we'll... Base regularly, does he? Oh, very regularly. Are there teams for, like, Olympics? Yeah, sure. there are teams now. They do have that at the Alfneca Club that was featured in the movie. Mm -hmm. So I would like to see Ibrahim participating with that mm -hmm. in the near future. We can get him to be more disciplined about practicing basketball. And making the documentary and using it to find other people from other places with um, autism. Have you learned any new techniques to help um, make your son's life easier? Or Not really through, through documentary so far, but yeah. we, 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 we want that to happen. We've mm -hmm. actually started a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. actually based on the film. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, you can uh, see that on our Lemonade website. We have a website, LemonadeTheFilm.com, okay. and we also have a Facebook page, you know, for Lemonade, mm -hmm. as well as Twitter. Um, and we have uh, a Patreon page at the moment where we're hoping that people will 
you know, kick in a little bit of help, you know, here and there so mm -hmm. that we can carry on doing these things because we want to, what, what we want to do is spread, you know, this sort of homeschooling solution to more families that really don't have anything going on for their autistic adult. So two nurses living with you full time, like yes. au pairs, but they're full are fully qualified nurses. Yes, they are. And you think that other parents would need that at home? Yes, absolutely. Either like that or whatever's available in their area, mm -hmm. you know, whatever applies to their country. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it be, um, you know, just uh, a teacher, somebody trained in education or a trained nurse. Um, but some, I think it really doesn't matter so much the training. You know, of course it does matter the training, but the personality of the carer is going to be the biggest, you know, factor. And what we'd like to do is provide a little bit more information on how to choose a good carer. Um, we're planning on doing a lot of YouTube videos about that sort of thing, giving advice. We have a couple of them up on the YouTube channel already, mm -hmm. so I think that people should check that out. Mm -hmm. um, and once we get some families, you know, that are, are sort of taking this this uh, challenge on, we'd like to film that experience as well and carry on even with another movie, you know, and we'd like to call that movie The Lemonade Effect. Okay, <laughs> a chain effect. A chain effect, okay. right, exactly. And mm -hmm. what you said earlier is really resonating with me now because we would like other people to send in their videos mm -hmm. because we would all like to learn from each other. I think that's so from the community. Yes, exactly. I mean, if we can parameters what you think is important in uh, your community. Absolutely. And, you know, maybe other families have tried things that I haven't tried, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. And we can all learn things from each other to the internet. Yeah, sure, absolutely. On these social media channels. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. And it's a lovely Thank documentary. You. Thank Your name you. is Deidre. Is that Deborah? Well, it's De Deidre, actually. Deidre. De yeah. <laughs> it's Deirdre. the right pronunciation. <laughs> it's, it's an Irish name, but it has an, a Greek spelling, actually, because my family is Greek-Irish. And Deidre is the um, translation? De Deirdre into... Deirdre. Well, uh, it, I think it means the raging one, if I'm not mistaken. Translation into which language is it in? Deirdre? Uh, in, in Greek? Or is the Greek? In the Greek, Greek variation, variation, right? Okay. Would mean the raging one. All right. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I do, I, I suppose I do my share of raging at times. <laughs> All right, yeah, as a producer. The documentary was really well made, and mm -hmm. um, you have four children in total. Yes. And, um, you live in the UAE for 27 years now? That's right, it's a yeah. long time. And you love living there? I do, yeah. yes, it's a wonderful country actually. And you're reaching out with the documentary to make a community yes. of people who are suffering with autism in this, yes. so that you can support each other and trade um, your techniques of schooling and behavior and create management. Opportunity, behavior management, and yes. try to create more opportunities than what's there Absolutely. at the moment. Absolutely, yes. Like maybe responsibility of working part sure. time. Or exactly. Yeah. Or artistic pursuits. Artistic. You know, like what you do here, you know, in terms of, you know, you, you help uh, special needs students learn how to make films, for yes, example. That's and right. Which I'm not involved with, but yes, <laughs> in the center, they do allow. Um, I think Children that's wonderful. Challenges to make their own. I think any form of reality. artistic expression for special needs mm -hmm. students is a wonderful thing mm -hmm. to encourage. It's wonderful to be a part of. Mm -hmm. Ibrahim, for example, loves to draw. He's he's very good at drawing. Mm -hmm. In fact, and and that's I've uh, I've always believed in that. You know, even when my kids were small, we've always had, you know, plenty of paper, pens, you know, pencils, and and you know clay mm -hmm. and paint and whatever laying around, you know, so that if they felt like doing something, they had, you know, the means to express themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And <laughs> our artistic children, do they have art classes in UAE to attend? Or, or is yes, some places do, but not for that. special needs, you know, not really, which is what we really would like to encourage, mm -hmm. you know, is to have more... Uh, opportunities for special needs adults, you know, mm -hmm. and children to participate in that 
because the typical children and typical adults have many in the UAE. It's actually a growing artistic community there. Okay. You know. So do you mind if I call you Deirdre? I don't mind at all. Okay, <laughs> well, I wish you lots of luck with the documentary. Thank you. We really hope you do. It's a pleasure to be here. Meet other people. And Thank you. <laughs>